One of the most discussed and theorized scenes in Revenge of the Sith is that which saw Dooku seemingly give up and merely accept death. Dooku's death brings up the all too common question of what exactly was going through his mind to simply stay silent, with no attempt to save himself. We've discussed before why Dooku didn't reveal to Anakin that Palpatine was truly the Sith Lord Sidious, and looked at his final scene in the context of Dooku and his master. But there's another interesting context within this final scene that explains a lot about Dooku's actions in Episode 3. This of course is the knowledge that Dooku had of Anakin at the time and the change he perceived within the Jedi. In this video expose, we'll look at how Dooku perceived Anakin throughout their final duel and just prior to his death, and also explain why he knew Anakin would never allow him to survive in Revenge of the Sith. The reason why Dooku was 100% certain that he would be killed by Anakin, no matter what he did or said, begins during the time of their one-on-one -on -one duel on the Invisible Hand. With Dooku having dispatched Obi-Wan relatively easily, the Sith felt a profound change beginning to manifest within Anakin. In fact, there was a perceivable twist within the currents of the Force between them. Anakin wasn't just getting stronger, but he was becoming that which had been foreseen by Sidious, a natural in the dark side. The fury and anger deep within him was beginning to burn down the barriers created through Anakin's Jedi training. And yet, he was still holding back, fearing what he might become if he gave in to his emotions completely. At this, Dooku knew he had to do something to prevent Anakin from overwhelming him. At this point, the novelization differs quite a bit from the film. In both, Dooku taunts Anakin, telling him that he can sense the emotions within him. In the novel, this caused Anakin to lose his edge, to pull back from the dark emotions. But it was Sidious who would then prompt Anakin to continue to call upon his fury and rage, to focus them and use them as weapons. This allowed Anakin to regain the momentum that would see him defeat Dooku. In the film, there's no prompting from Sidious. It's Dooku's taunting alone that seems to have driven Anakin deeper into his dark emotions, almost finding the answer himself and using his fury to defeat the Sith Lord. Either way, this caused a profound change within Anakin that would culminate in him finally overcoming Dooku. And Dooku clearly recognized this change and what it meant for him. As explained in the novelization, when Dooku looked into Anakin's eyes, he saw the promise of Hell. And as they re-engaged in lightsaber combat, Dooku knew his death was an inevitability. Once Anakin tapped into the dark side and fashioned his fear into a weapon, it wasn't merely that he would lose the duel, but his life. Dooku had already tried everything. He already drew in all the dark side power throughout the universe to bolster himself. And still, his command and experience with the Force meant nothing. In fact, it was this knowledge that confirmed that the flames that burned through Anakin's Jedi restraint would ultimately consume him as well. As Anakin pressed forward, Dooku knew it was only a matter of time, feeling that Anakin's lightsaber was moving without effort, controlled solely by the fear and fury that was knocking the Sith Lord backwards. By the time Anakin quite literally disarmed Dooku, it was playing out exactly as he had foreseen. Once the switch within Anakin had been flipped, Dooku understood he was already dead. Thus, as he looked up into the eyes of Anakin for the final time, he knew that there was only one more action to be carried out. Having given in to his fury and rage, and now commanding the dark side that was trapped within him for years, Dooku knew he would become the victim of the Jedi. All of it had built up to this point, and nothing Dooku could say or do would prevent Anakin from carrying out his murder. And just as he understood, Anakin carried out what Dooku knew was inevitable. No one in that position, especially Anakin, would allow Dooku to survive. So there we have it, why Dooku knew that Anakin would never allow him to survive during his final moments in Episode 3. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For permission.